The rear leaf spring brackets will be installed in a 1947 CJ 2A Willys Jeep. I'll step you through all different parts for the rear leaf spring bracket installation. There aren't many parts to go through for this installation. There are two greasable pivot eye bolt brackets that will go towards the front of your Jeep working on the rear. And then there's also two threadable shackle brackets and these two brackets will be installed going towards the rear of your Jeep. And you want to make sure you have the steeper end facing towards the rear. All four leaf spring brackets will be installed using two bolts. These are your grade eight bolts, make sure you're grade eight. They are three eighths inch bolts, inch and a half long with two washers, a lock washer and a nut. And we'll have it installed as so. It'll install going this direction with your pivot eye bolt or your shackle facing downwards. Bolt going through with the washer and on the back side we'll have a washer, lock washer nut. The pivot eye bolt bracket is installed towards the front of your Jeep as we're in the rear. And we'll have the bolt set up like this. And we'll just stick it through the two holes I'm showing you right here. Install your bracket as so, pushing the bolts through the frame. And on the back side, we'll put a washer, lock washer, and nut up in the frame. After installing the pivot eye bolt bracket, now we have to move up the frame towards the rear. And there'll be two holes back right next to the rear bumper at the very rear. This is where your threadable shackle bracket release springs will go and you want to install it so you have your two bolts going through with your washer and install it with the steeper angle going towards the rear or the rear bumper going through those two holes and it's a bit of a challenge but we got the first bolt in and we're going to work on the second one when all leaf spring brackets are loosely installed with the bolts now we have to torque all the bolts to 60 foot pounds using a torque wrench and a wrench at the top to hold the nut. And we'll do this step on the threaded shackle bracket side. Now moving to the front of the Jeep, this is the pivot eye bolt bracket. And we'll do the same steps with your grade eight bolts. We'll torque these to 60 foot pounds using a torque wrench at the bottom. And then we'll put a wrench into the frame on the back side to tighten the nut. Repeat the same steps as we did on the passenger side for the two leaf spring brackets as the driver's side. Torque those bolts to 60 foot pounds. And that's how you install release spring brackets. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.